Hello, I've been trying to get Lazy Pathways uh, speed optimized. You're 61. I can't entirely explain my algorithm, but the general purpose is to, while you're on a tile, try to find the biggest possible tile, move there, and then correct it. So you're keeping track of how many steps you've made from a known good number, like one or two or whatever. And then if you can't do that, then you step in a random direction. At the beginning of the program, I step uh, six steps in. And that's just to get the people kind of centered so that when they start walking around, you know, they ideally, you know, if you're in the center of a whole area and you're kind of going to be starting to do random walks, uh, your coverage is better when you start in the center. So uh, from 7 to 9 here, I'm just trying to find a known good tile. So I don't want to be standing on 99 because I don't know where I'm starting really with that. And if I'm start standing on nothing, that's no good. Then what I'm going to do is uh, once I'm on a known good tile, I'm going to keep track you know, like I'm on 2 or on 3 in MEM2. Then I'm going to try to step to a bigger tile. In fact, I'm looking for the biggest possible thing. Step there and update that with 2. And if I step on a tile and its number is better than I think it is, then I'll just improve MEM2. I'll improve my count to match its count. Uh, so most of this code from, say, 12 to 24 is designed to do that, to step to the biggest tile. If I get to 24 here, I step to a bigger tile, I'm going to update it. So I'm going to pick it up, write it, drop it, and then I'm going to jump down to this other logic, which I'll explain in a moment. If I couldn't find a bigger tile, I step in a random direction, and then I try some administrative stuff. Uh, you know, I'm updating MEM2 with MEM2 plus 1, because I've walked one more tile, so my idea how far I walk needs to update. But then if I find out that the new tile I'm on is better, then I improve it with uh, step 28 here. Step 29, what I'm actually doing is saying, you know what? I will actually try to, what am I trying to do here? I'm just checking here. Okay. Step 29 through 38 is an attempt to say, if I'm on a tile and one of the tiles surrounding me tells me my number should be better. So like if I'm standing on a 5 and there's a 3 nearby me, then my number should be 4 because I can get from 3 to 4 in one step. And that is all this code is doing from 29 to 38. And after that I jump back to the beginning and start over. So I'll just run it once. I will post the solution in the video, by the way, because clearly it's hard to explain in detail. There's no guarantee it's going to be fast every single time, but this is by far the best solution I've come up with. Obviously it takes a ton of instructions. But you see it's averaging under the target of 250. Every now and then it might simulate kind of, you know, a long, um, it might take a long time because it, it, there is that random stepping and if you have randomness, you cannot fully predict the time. It's a statistical thing. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, so I will post this up as the optional speed challenge completed here. And thanks for watching, and if it helps, great.